The Peplink SIM Injector Mini is a great addition to any network where access to your cellular SIM cards is not easy. Simply plug the SIM injector in via an Ethernet LAN port to a compatible Peplink router. It can be powered over Ethernet or with an AC adapter. Once you have your SIM injector plugged in, connect to your router. In our case, we're using a Balance 20X log into its web administration. The first thing I'll do now that I'm logged in is check the router's client list to confirm it can see the SIM injector. Click on the status tab at the top and select client list on the left. Wait for the page to load and then look for something like this. SIM ING with a few characters after it. This is our SIM injector. Next, click on the advanced tab at the top. Find remote SIM management on the left. You'll see it towards the bottom under miscellaneous settings. Look to the first section here, remote SIM server IP address slash host name. Click the pen icon to the right of Autoland Discovery and a window will pop up. Check the box here to enable the setting. Click Save and the page should look like this. Click Apply Changes at the top right. Now that this is enabled, we should be able to set up our SIM injector. Go back to the Dashboard tab. Find the cellular connection you want to use and click on it. This should open the Cellular Details window. Scroll down to the Cellular Settings section. Where it says SIM Card, make sure that Remote SIM is selected. In order to test the connection with the SIM cards in your SIM injector, unselect SIM A and SIM B. In the Remote SIM Settings section, enter the serial number of the SIM injector followed by the colon sign and the SIM card slot or slots you want the router to connect to. In our case, we have SIM cards in slots 1 and 2 and would like them to connect in that order. When done, click Save and apply at the bottom of the window. Back at the dashboard page, we'll wait a few moments while the router tries to establish a connection with the remote SIM. Okay, now that it says it is connected, we can click on the IP address to the right and check the details to verify what it is connected to. There we go, remote SIM. It has the serial number of the SIM injector along with the slot it's using. That's all it takes to set up the Peplink SIM Injector Mini. We hope you found this video helpful and welcome you to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.